those wraiths, and now Boxer's going to lose that wraith out in the middle. Um, so not you know necessarily a horrible position here for for Gonzi, even though Boxer did um, uh, he was feeling a lot of pressure there and fought it off really extremely well. So that was that was kind of cool to see. Uh, but both players just getting a bunch of factories up now and. Um, and you know, just trying to get their macro on. Uh, Boxer looks like he might be thinking about taking a third base on the left, and if he could do that and then hold it, that would obviously give him a real good uh, economic advantage going into the kind of the mid game here. Um, I guess this, this could already be considered the mid game. Um, Excuse me, but anyway, um, point being, Boxer has won that battle, and so he has a little bit, a little bit of map control, and that might enable him to get an expansion a little bit quicker. Um, although Gonzi is now setting up for his expansion as well, and um, he could be taking it at the same time, and he's going to be able to move back to the high ground, even though he's got less tanks here. Now, Gonzi, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he, I, I didn't see that that starport blinking, but Gonzi, I wouldn't be surprised if he produced a wraith right now, uh, since Boxer is very, very tank heavy and doesn't have any Goliaths. Um, to speak of, uh, so it would be a really good opportunity for Gonzi to make um, to make some raids and go in and attack because I mean, uh, Boxer he has the advantage at the moment because he's basically forced. Uh, yeah, there's the wraith coming now, so that's that's a smart move. He's going to force Boxer to um, to make some uh, make some Goliaths. Boxer is going to have to fall back here for a little bit of an attack coming in here on the side as well. Oh oh, tanks trading fire, uh, dropship. Oh, dropship goes down! Dang it, that was his first dropship. He had to use it to spot uh, to try and kill off those enemy tanks, but um, it just didn't. Uh, he lost it in the process of those Goliaths nearby. Um, anyway, what I was saying before was. I don't remember. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Four machine shops. So he was really just pumping the tanks out right now. Um, and uh, if, if he gets a Wraith out, if Gonzi gets a Wraith out, it's going to be, you know hard for Boxer to deal with it, and that's why you, you go for the raids. Now, by making him, that's why Boxer has map control now, though, is because, oh man, these slow vultures just sneaking in here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can even, even call them sneaking, because they're just kind of like running in really easily, and Boxer had all his tanks out in the, the field, so they weren't able to do anything about it. Anyway, he's gonna he's got these reinforcements popping out of his factories, he's gonna be able to deal with this pretty easily. Um, sacrificing one tank, wow! How did that tank not die? That was amazing. Um, <laughs> anyways, trying to sacrifice one tank to draw out the mines and using the other tanks actually to fire at it. Finally, those vultures are going to get cleaned up. There's that wraith. Um, oh, what I was going to say before is, is if you make those wraiths, sometimes you could, you could force your enemy to get um, goliaths to deal with the wraiths. And then if you've got if you can put out more tanks, the tanks um, you know are better than the goliaths as far as fighting on the ground. And so you know it's kind of a back and forth sort of thing. Wraiths versus uh, Goliaths versus tanks, um, kind of rock paper scissors almost. Um, anyway, so, oh nice! I was just gonna say he needs to get some Goliaths out, otherwise he's gonna start losing tanks here. He does get the Goliaths out just in time, um, and nicely done in his part. But Gonzi is doing a really good job of attacking on uh, kind of more than one front at a time, kind of going to the left, going to the right, going to the left, going to the right. And uh, keeping Boxer a little bit off guard, and oh, Boxer, oh, he might lose this dropship. Oh no, he is going to lose the dropship. Oh man, and Wraith's now running around in his main base as well, losing a tank. This is not looking good for Boxer at all. He has a little bit of superiority on the ground in this middle attack here, but Gonzi has a little bit better of an arc, and Boxer moving into the arc loses a lot of tanks. Horrible for Boxer. He now looks like he, oh man, he's really behind at this point, actually. Um... He's really kind of almost contained in his base. These rays are just doing a really good job of, of eating away at Boxer's forces and really just keeping him off off guard. And uh, he's, look, he's having to send out a couple of SCVs to distract while he uh, moves his tanks out and uh, it clears out this containment. So he is going to clear out this contain, but not before he loses a lot of stuff. And he just hasn't been able to produce the Goliath. I don't know what happened to his Goliath that he had before. I guess they died to those tanks out in the middle. But um, he, he hasn't been able to have enough Goliaths everywhere to keep these wraiths away, and he's just been losing tanks left and right um, due to those wraiths, and uh, you know, or the wraiths damaging the uh, the tanks to the point that uh, the enemy tanks can kill them quickly or more quickly, rather. Um, so things not looking good for Boxer here, and again, this is game two after Gonzi winning the first game. So if Boxer does lose this game, he's going to be out of the tournament, and it will be very disappointing for all, especially since Gonzi. You know, not really that good of a player. We're probably not. 
going to see anything too spectacular from him in, uh, you know, the MST or anything like that, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, uh, more vultures coming here. Looks like the uh, I didn't I actually wasn't paying attention. I didn't, see, I didn't see if they were dropped or if they just ran in there. It looks like they were probably dropped. Um, it's hard to tell. But oh oh, trying to <laughs> Gauzy trying to snipe the dropship, but Boxer says no, not this time. Um, and. <laughs> Manages to chase it away with a couple of Goliaths here. Now Boxer, oh no, he loses a dropship again. Um, Gonzi sacks all of his wraiths though. He lost all of his wraiths, but he did kill off that dropship. Unfortunately, I think that was probably a better uh, move for Gonzi because in this sort of a situation, um, uh, really kind of Boxer being behind, the best way for him to get back into the game would be to do a drop. And so without dropships, you know, he's, he keeps losing his dropships. Without the dropships, it's going to be harder for him to to get his way back into the game. I don't think Boxer... Oh, Boxer's... I just realized he's still at two bases. Boxer's still at two bases, and Gonzi is getting his fourth base up right now, so Boxer is really, really behind. He never got... He never had an opportunity to make uh, that base at the left because he was under so much pressure, um, and now he's going to try and make a base at the four o'clock position, it looks like, but um, just... Oh, man, I didn't even realize that. So Boxer is now really, really behind. Um, <laughs> looks like uh, Boxer forced Gonzi to make his command center in an off position with an SCV, or, with an SCV earlier. Now Boxer is moving out here, and if he, can, if he can break this... Now, this is the other thing he can do. He can do a drop. A drop would be good, but um, taking his third while he kills off one of Gonzi's bases would also be very good. You know, kind of tie things up economically. Um... Oh no, ow, oh, 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 the mine, oh, he stops the mine uh, from hitting that tank, but the SCVs are coming out and taking a lot of hits now, doing a lot of damage, and Gonzi counterattacking on the other side as well. Oh no, this could be the end for Boxer. No! Okay, Gonzi's falling back in the middle there. Um, Boxer, his push has kind of been stopped though, since he's only got a couple tanks left there on the right side. Again, that's basically what it kind of needs to do to get back in this game is he needs to take out that expansion pretty quickly. Uh, but Gonzi coming in with a little bit of a... Oh, maybe that crater blocked him from building the command center. Who knows? He's probably going to have to kill the crater. But, um... Uh, Boxer now moving in here. If he can, like I said, if he can, uh, um... You know, do something about that base, they'll still be in okay, okay position. Oh, oh! He needs to be careful of those mines! Oh, 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 oh! He says, come Setzer for... Or for ninnies. I'm going to just go in there hardcore with my tanks. Uh-oh. Oh no, huge drop coming in here from Gonzi. Three dropships full. Boxer does not see it coming. All of his forces are on the left trying to deal with this shelling. And oh man, this is probably the end for Boxer right now. Those mines are still out, so he's not going to be able to get anything over in the area. Dropship doesn't have any... Box... <laughs> Droxer. Drop... Ah, Boxer does does not have any drop ships, so it's going to be really difficult for him to reinforce this position. Um, wow, so he's, he might be able to clean this up, but um, this is really not looking good for him at all. He's, he's lost a lot of SCVs, he lost that gas mine now, um, and there's still tanks in position, so this is probably going to be GG in a minute. So unfortunately, Boxer is going to be eliminated from the finals. So sad to see him get all the way to the finals and then have him eliminated from the, uh, the offline prelims here. Uh, more dropships coming in just to seal the deal. Yeah, so that should be the finish right there. Um, <laughs> running away from one Goliath, but uh, they're going to be able to drop all over this natural expansion. Um, or they can go all the way over here. That's... Oh no! Oh no! Boxer had his tanks on move and they caught a mine and then the rest of Gonzi's forces dropping out. That's GG. Too bad. GG.